So here we are in one of the latest snapshots of Minecraft and in it we have got the crossbow. Now the crossbow is a bit of an interesting one in which you load it up and then you can do whatever you want but the crossbow stays preloaded so when you swap back over to it you can instantly fire it with maximum power. Now this, this has some interesting applications in the game. One of them being, as Grim was telling me the other day, that you can fill up your entire hotbar with crossbows, fling your scroller, and then hold down the right click button, and you essentially end up with a machine gun. I mean, did you see how fast that killed that creeper? It's totally ridiculous. So, I think the first thing I want to do in today's video is I want to experiment with this machine gun mechanic and see if I can make it so that we can create an almost infinite machine gun system. I mean, it's going to be totally ridiculous, but I think it could work quite nicely. Now, I just wanted to check that the other half of what I'm requiring for this to work works, and I have to say it does, and look how hilarious it looks. <laughs> so, the idea is, is that we scroll through and we hold Q, and that will throw out all of the already used crossbows in our inventory so that they can be replaced with new crossbows so that we can keep firing. So let's just give this conceptual system a test. So I've got all of my crossbows in there. I, I guess we just do this. Scroll, hold down the right click button, then hold down Q, then hold down the right click button, then hold down Q, then hold down the right click button. <laughs> I don't know how well it works. I don't know if it's quite working how I expected it to. <laughs> I keep getting myself mixed up though. I keep pressing Q when I'm meant to be right clicking. <laughs> it kind of works though. If you got into a rhythm, I think it would function, but wow, it runs out of ammo real fast. But then again, if we look, I, I mean, I shot quite a lot of arrow. <laughs> Let's give it another go. This time we have a better target, and also this time I've changed up some of the timings, so hopefully this should now be working. I mean... <laughs> I don't know how well it functions. It seems like I keep forgetting to press Q, and most of them are now empty. I don't know if my, my, yeah, it just, it's, it's not quite there. That's a shame. I really thought we were onto something then. I might actually try it out using command blocks. Give me a second. Ooh, that didn't, that, yeah, that doesn't work at all. But fear not, ladies and gentlemen, because I've come up with another idea that I think is actually going to function and I'm very excited for it. So let's start building. Okay, so here goes. What we've got is we've got some dropper systems right here, which are going to be dropping out the crossbows into my inventory. These are chests filled with even more loaded crossbows, so we have plenty of ammo. These are the chests that are going to be picking up the used up crossbows when I throw them out. And this redstone clock is going to activate throwing those items on the floor. Now, if I do this... Yes! It actually functions! So I am fire <laughs> I'm firing arrows and then also throwing out the crossbow. And I can do this really, really quickly. Look, I'm in survival mode and look how fast this is. Yes! We've got ourselves a working machine gun! We've got ourselves a working machine gun in survival Minecraft. And any second now, I'm going to run out of ammo. There we go. How ridiculous is that? Oh, I have thrown out some fully loaded ones by the looks of things. But for the... Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, some of them were fully loaded that I was throwing on the floor. But still, look at this! Alright, let's try this again. This time, I am not going to do it quite as rapidly. But we also have some targets. So if I am just... doesn't mess around. That doesn't mess around at all. So it's all about finding the rhythm. It's all about finding the right rhythm and trying your best not to throw the things out. It, it takes a little bit of brain power, I have to say, but it does work. So there we go. Fully automatic turret in Minecraft. Functioning. Nice. I'm incredibly pleased that we managed to pull that off because I spent far longer than you would think working on various different designs that didn't even make it into the video because they were just so awful and didn't function in the slightest. So anyway, we're going to move on from this one and we're going to take a look at some other crossbow related redstone. I have quite a cool concept here. Now the basis of it is actually going to rely on the same game mechanic that we just used for that turret there in that the player has a full inventory apart from one slot and then they fire through gradually throwing out the crossbows as they use them up. 
but we're going to be using it in a slightly different context. Instead of having it as like a rapid fire machine gun, we want to be focusing on accuracy on this one. And to do that, we're actually going to be raising the stakes a little bit. And now that this thing's fully constructed, I'm realizing A, how difficult it's going to be, and B, how cruel it is going to be as well. But it's gonna be interesting to try out, especially as I have literally zero bow shooting or crossbow firing skills. I am genuinely the worst person to take on this challenge. But now that it's armed and ready, I think I should probably explain this thing. So over here, we have got ourselves a little dispenser set up, and this will dispense out nine fully loaded crossbows once I actually fill in those dispensers. So we've got nine shots. Now we have to shoot all nine of these buttons and we have to be on target to save the cat that is going to be falling through the cobweb. So not only can we not miss a shot, but we also have to do it fast enough that the cat doesn't fall through and end up in the lava. This is going to be tense. And three, two, one, go. No, I think I've missed all of them so far. Wait. The arrows not activate stone buttons. I feel like that might be the case. Ooh. Yeah, I feel bad that I tested this out with a live animal. Now that all of the floors have been fixed with the previous system, for example, some crossbows actually landing on the floor and not being able to be picked up, and obviously the stone buttons, I think it's time for another test. So here goes. Oh my word, this is dense. Yes! I've saved the cats! I've saved the cats just about in time. Look at that. Holy mackerel. <laughs> that's actually, that's, that's pretty satisfyingly fun. Of course, the whole exercise is a tiny bit futile because the, the yeah, the arrows begin to despawn after a little while and then, well, uh, yeah, the cat meets a fairly grim end. That actually hurt me a little bit inside. But anyway, I think this idea of firing the crossbow and then throwing the empty crossbow out of your infantry and reloading it with a brand new crossbow is pretty cool. And I can imagine in your base or something like that, building a system like this on the outside to keep other players away would be really, really simple. The only thing that you have to do is make sure that your infantry is fully filled in and then it won't make its way into any other spots, which means that you will just have to right click and then press Q and you can do it really, really quickly. Obviously I'm not very fast because I'm not very fast aiming, but some of you out there will be able to absolutely fly through targets. It's gonna be pretty sweet to watch. So I've just been doing a little bit more research into the old crossbows and, of course, they can be enchanted. Right, let's go back to this rapid fire design. Now, obviously, this test isn't really going to apply to survival mode because I don't expect you to enchant three double chests worth of crossbows with a bunch of different enchantments, but you know what? It's worth checking out. So, the first enchantment we're going to test is piercing. This allows the arrow to actually travel through multiple mobs, which I'm sure is going to come in handy. So, let's go. I mean, it seems interesting enough. Wow, it definitely is clearing out the creepers, actually. If we just keep shooting in the middle here... <laughs> Look at this! Look, they're just gradually going down. Holy mackerel. That was really fast, wasn't it? That was like a whole batch of creepers. And this looks amazing. Do you remember the days when XP just used to totally cover your face? You wouldn't be able to see for like 10 minutes if you got a decent amount of it. Yeah, those are the days. I think it's safe to say that piercing is much better than multi-shot because, I mean, look, it may look dramatic, okay, with the three arrows coming out, it looks pretty sweet, but piercing is so much better. I mean, it's taken me days to get through these guys. This is no good. <laughs> so there we have it, ladies and gents. I think that rounds up today's video, taking a look at crossbows and using them with redstone. We came up with some interesting concepts there. It's been fun to play around with them. I'm also excited to see what sort of functionality Mojang adds to the crossbows because I personally would quite like to see them function inside dispensers. Can you imagine how cool that would be if you could have a nine shot dispenser with enchanted crossbows, for example, multi-shot, you could have piercing. I don't know, I don't know how it could work, but it could be really interesting. Anyway, I do hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please drop that like button. If you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.